Yeah. Um, but, you know, Starship at the same time is chugging along like absolute crazy, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. every week, basically, you know, I could be doing an update on on Starship updates. And again, a lot of this is we're getting there are channels I, that I do that. Like, <laughs> I was going to say, we need to still just thank the people that are constantly, you know, doing all this stuff. So the people at NASA Space Flight. Um, so uh, Boca Chica Gal is mm-hmm. just doing amazing work. That's Mary. And then there's. I mean, there's Lab Padre that's doing the live streams constantly, you know, the 24-hour live streams. There's my friends at South Padre, um, South pa- S-, S Padre, uh, the, you know, the surf company. So Rachel and Jean are doing awesome work. Awesome Bernard. There's Maria. I mean, there's just been so many people helping to capture all this stuff for us so that we can have these updates. But then also Elon Musk will update us because he's basically like staying down there and just to get Starship going. I think he's mm-hmm. like... He's got the Elon Musk, you know, fire under his butt to get something done in a tent that we all know and love about Elon. <laughs> is he just um, living in a tent is, since he loves him so much? Genuinely likely. It's called a yurt. <laughs> it's a yurt. <laughs> he brought his yurt. <laughs> He's glamping. He's out there. Air conditioned tent. Um, but this was the latest video he shared on Oopsies. Very loud. Um, he shared this on Twitter. And we're seeing the nose cone section um, and all, yeah, just super, super cool. Just seeing the whole factory on the inside, seeing the progress they're making on these nose cones. So you're already seeing parts of what, you know, likely is either the top of that nose cone. I forget, people already figured this out. If that was the top of nose cone for serial number one or if that was the start of already serial number two, but they're already working. He's mentioned on Twitter that they're working on serial number two. Uh, my computer kind of hates doing video this way. So yeah, it's doing sorry. some weird stuff. Yeah, sorry. It's because I'm doing like a sidecar where it's like an iPad for my second screen. Uh-huh. Um, but um, yeah, uh, the the other cool things is that, that we learned is that the nose cone will have. So when I talked to Elon in September at, at the Starship event, he disclosed that he's hoping for the next one, which would be this one, basically, that they would have um, the header tanks. So the tanks that are pressurized, always pressurized for flight. Um, they're the small kind of landing tanks that they would both be in the nose cone and share a common bulkhead as well. Mm-hmm. And they just use the walls of the nose cone just as they develop it. But now um, he basically let us know that uh, the one that we're seeing now, um, I asked, is this is what I said on Twitter. Um, so is there still a common bulkhead in the header tanks in the nose cone? Like you mentioned to me at the Starship event. If the walls are the tanks, how do you attach thrusters? Blah, blah, blah. He said the oxygen tank, header tank, is the tip of the nose cone. But the methane tank is actually inside the main methane tank. So the methane tank will have a smaller methane tank inside it for the header <laughs> tank. And that's, yeah, a tank inside a tank. Um, Russian but that's doll how, tanks. <laughs> yeah. Tankception. And that's, exactly. And that's how they're going to keep the, um, you know, keep the, the little bit from sloshing. It's, it's under constant pressure so they can do um, the landing burn, you know, successfully mm, and all that stuff. Interesting. Because otherwise it would, you can end up, with that crazy maneuver, you know, you you can't have a half or an almost right. empty tank yeah. and all that crazy stuff. It'll slosh around and you might suck <laughs> up an air bubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the fart no. landing. Isn't that what that other engine so you just header- showed us is doing, basically? Yeah, basically. Uh, so, yeah, so it really, really... <laughs> <laughs> it is methane. <laughs> It is methane fart factory. Uh, but yeah, so things are just coming along like crazy. I really wish I knew that uh, the guy on Twitter that, I'm sorry, I'm, maybe I'll find it on Reddit here quick. Um, there's a guy on Twitter, and I'm so sorry that I'm forgetting your name and your handle and everything in your life, but it's, <laughs> um, they're doing an awesome job of, of tracking, using photographs of what we're seeing in all these different images and showing the exact progress. I feel like I definitely have to share it here because it's, it's super cool to see Maybe that's under, um, I'll find it here in a second. Why don't you guys ask questions while I try to find this? Uh, um, uh, um, uh. What were we talking about? <laughs> Starship. Oh, Starship. Yeah. Right. You've been there. Uh, oh, here we go. I got to show this. Uh, I sure would like really to learn a lot about one. Starship. I wonder if there's a really awesome place I could learn about Starship or <laughs> rockets in general. Oh, you mean... 
Oh, youtube.com slash everydayastronaut. Oh, check this out. This is really, really cool. Um, this is from Twitter user um, at F-A-E-L-097, who's been doing this really cool update. Um, anytime we're like seeing pictures, they keep showing us which parts are already assembled. Because Oh, that's the other thing I didn't even mention. They, they already welded. I, I forgot that this wasn't last week. This was this week. They welded together the oxygen tank and the methane tank. And that's what we're seeing, that big portion there on the right. Um, ah, okay. if, so that's what this big, bigger section is. That's already done, stacked, welded, ready to go. Um, on the very bottom right in this diagram, you see the lower thrust section. So that's where the legs are going to be attached and all that stuff. Um, and the, the flaps and fins and all that. And oh yeah, I forgot, there's also another Elon video too as well. Sean is reminding us of in the Discord. Um, but yeah, so there's the header tank that's going to be in the middle of the CH4 tank. So we're learning a lot here and it's just coming together so fast. So it's making me realize it might be time that I try to find a condo to stop stalking rockets here in uh, in Florida and just start really getting ready for, because they're planning to static fire. I think there was a, a road closure or something coming up already like early March. <laughs> So well, credit to I, I didn't catch this guy's name who who put this image together because that's awesome. Because you Isn't keep seeing cool? all these little pieces and you don't really know what they are and what the point is yeah. and everything. That's that's cool. Yep. Um, so again, user at f a e l zero nine seven on Twitter. Um, I better just shoot a follow on him because I feel like Twitter um, or Reddit. I think why well, I think that's his Twitter handle too because oh, okay. Um, yeah, because yeah. Oh, and there's also another video from Elon. Um, if you want to try sharing it um, uh, with Elon sharing the giant starship, uh, the actual the crane that's going to be stacking and all this, it's really cool. And the actual high bay, um, it's it's almost he said it's almost done. So super super cool. And he mentioned that that if he wanted to, uh, they could probably tow. Oh, they're going to be taking this is the other part. Sorry, I, with all this stuff I woke up to and I was really excited. They're going to just take the Starship to get it out to the launch pad instead of having like a crawler, you know, like a NASA crawler thing or the other things they've done. They're just going to stick basically roller skates on the landing legs because the landing legs obviously are squat enough to be able to handle, you know, all that stuff. Literally stick like giant roller skates on it and just push it out to the pad. I mean... Could it do, could it do some, uh, sorry, could it do some maneuvering, some spins... I mean, Some pirouettes why not? On the way. I hope so. I hope they show off. And he also mentioned it could be towed with Cybertruck, which would be really fun. Of so, course. of course, of course, cool. he said that. <laughs> that so, I, yeah. lo I love their just their simple solutions. solutions to things. It's just like just put some wheels on it and just uh, roll it out there. Just push it. Yeah, eh. yeah. Like eh. it. It's so. It's so true. I mean, why do we over-engineer all these crazy... I mean, the Saturn V was a different beast. You know, when you're having to roll something out that's, what, was it 353 feet tall or something? Mm. You know, rolling that out, like, if you had it off by even a few degrees, that's going to be very, very bad. So, yeah, you had to have crazy solutions for that type of stuff. But when you're dealing with something like this that's, I don't know, it's super different, super simple, and yeah. it's it's really exciting. So... Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.